last night's Google I/O set the tone of what Google will do for the rest of 2017. Sundar Pichai and his team announced upcoming projects for Android, web, and iOS developers. Android O is the next Android OS. It's still in its beta prenatal stage, so when you install it, be very careful. There are two things that you need to know about Android O. One is called the vitals. Google basically wants to concentrate on the phone's vital, like battery life, stability, and startup time. Wise limits make sure that your background location or your app activity doesn't gobble up too much of your battery life. Second is fluid experiences. Fluid experiences will help you get the most out of your smartphone. For example, there is picture-in-picture picture for better multitasking. The notifications are improved. They are called notification dots. It notifies users on what is happening on your app so that you can be more involved. There's autofill that lets apps fill in usernames automatically, and smart text selection that helps you copy and paste functions. Google wants Android to be more democratic, which is why there is a stripped-down version that's been announced. It's called Android Go. This is for devices that have 512 MB to 1 GB of RAM. There are three main things that you need to know about Android Go. One, it's going to make sure that Android OS will work smoothly on entry-level devices. It will rebuild Google Apps so that they use less memory, storage space, and also mobile data. Play Store will highlight apps specifically used for entry-level users. Google's photo app will now ask you to share photographs of people who are in it. Shared libraries will help you share photographs with one person. There will be physical photo books. You will digitally curate your photographs and then send out an order for a physical photo book. Google is also getting the lens feature to photos. It will recognize what's in an image, be it a building or a painting at a museum. Google will also have a standalone VR set, which will be more than Google's daydream, which was all about just strapping a smartphone to the VR set. It'll be just putting it on and that'll be it. Google didn't say much about the VR set. All it said that it will come soon. Google Lens will understand what you need and help you figure out things. Say you want to know what is the name of the flower that you saw, Google Lens through Assistant will identify what flower it is. Same with restaurants, etc. You can also point your phone camera to a Wi-Fi router and once you fill in the credentials, it will be connected. A new update for Gmail mobile apps has a new feature called Smart Reply. You can quickly reply within emails. You can also edit the Smart Reply before sending it. And it also customizes your response as it learns your habits. Google Assistant is now available on iOS devices. Plus, it also comes in multiple languages. Those are the seven things that you needed to know about Google I.O. 2017. For more tech and more reviews, don't forget to check out Gadgets360.com.